Hi, my name is Stanley Jones. I'm Director of Engineering for Developer Experience here at Definity. In this demo, I'll be showing how developers can start deploying their software onto the internet computer. It's really just three steps. First, we'll need some ICP, the utility token of the internet computer. Next, we'll convert some of those ICP into cycles. And finally, we'll use those cycles to deploy our software. Three steps. Tokens, cycles, software. Let's get started. Step one is tokens. There are a few different ways to get ICP, and they're all out of scope for this particular demo. So let's assume that we've already got some and focus more on what we can do with them as a developer. If you haven't installed the Definity Canister SDK yet, go ahead and do that now from sdk.definity.org because we're going to need it for our next step. ICP transactions are recorded on the internet computer's ledger. It's a special canister or service running on the internet computer. We'll need to transfer our ICP to our developer account because right now on the IC ledger, the account that holds our ICP is probably different than the developer account generated for us by the SDK. You can do this using the utility most appropriate for your custody solution, but first you need to know where you're sending it on the IC ledger. Bundled with the SDK is the command line utility DFX, and we can use it to get the account ID of our local identity. Great. Now, once we've transferred some ICP to that developer account, we can confirm the balance also with DFX. Wow, yeah, that's more than enough for our purposes. Step two is cycles. Cycles are how canisters pay for computation, transactions, and storage. Unlike ICP, which live on the IC ledger, Cycles live inside the canister they pay for. We'll want to convert some of our ICP into cycles, but we also need a canister to receive them. To make managing cycles easier, we can store them in a special canister called a cycles wallet. Let's deploy our wallet to the canister that we just created. With just a couple DFX commands, we've told the IC ledger to create an empty canister for us fill it with cycles converted from the amount of ICP we've specified, and install the cycles wallet module in it. Let's check our cycles balance. Yep, looks like we've got uh, lots of cycles. So now we can use our cycles wallet to pay for other actions on the IC. Step three, software. All right, we've got tokens, we've got cycles, let's deploy some software. I'm already in the Hello World example project created by DFX. So to deploy my software, all I have to do Again, a single command is doing a lot for us. Our Matoko source code is compiled into WebAssembly modules. We've told our Cycles wallet to create new empty canisters for them. Then it transfers some cycles to the new canisters so that they can pay for their own computation, transaction, and storage. Finally, we install the modules to the empty canisters, upload any static assets, and our app springs to life.
So there you have it, from installing the SDK to deploying Hello World. I can't wait to see what you build. Welcome to the Internet Computer. Mm -hmm.